A week after Ecuador's devastating earthquake, workers have removed tons of rubble, clearing the way for reconstruction, the real long-term challenge. On the ground level, people, now homeless, wonder when or how rebuilding will begin. This is what remains of Rosa Cedeño's home. It's where she grew up and raised her kids. Across the street, her new home in a growing tent camp. To have a place again of my own, that's independence. That's what I want for me and my family. President Rafael Correa says rebuilding will take years and cost three to four billion dollars. Economists say that's a low estimate. He's proposed raising taxes to cover costs. He's also making it hard for independent organizations to help, even though the state seems overwhelmed. Just delivering water has been a tough challenge. Rebuilding will be much harder in a country where builders have been known to cut corners. Many builders follow rules, others clearly don't. The government estimates 25,000 are homeless. That number, though, could be much higher. This tent camp and others are starting to take on the look and feel of neighborhoods, and people tell us they're worried they could be homeless for years to come. This doctor reminds a family to give their sick daughter bottled or boiled water. Not always easy when supplies don't come. Camp residents are stringing up wires to tap into power lines. So we have no light at all. So we're going to try to see kids since I light because it's real, real bad. There's a lot of people stealing stuff, so we're trying to get lights. The camps are still growing. Those living in them want reconstruction to start soon. Until then, they're trying to make them feel as much like home as possible. Adam Rini, Al Jazeera, Manta, Ecuador.